My name's Jim. I am the Solar Boondocker. Remember you can see me at jimindenver.com where I do solar design. Today I want to introduce you to the second part of my three-part series about aiming a directional antenna for a booster. This is called Network Cell Info Lite. It's an app that goes on an Android phone. It's probably the fastest way to be able to see what direction to point the directional antenna because there's a map in Network Cell Info Lite that shows you your position in a direct line to the tower the cell phone is connected to. Now this doesn't work with hotspots obviously, but with a cell phone it really works nice. Let's see how it works. So let's take a look at this app I use called Network Cell Info Lite. It's for Android. You can get it out of the Play Store. When it first opens, you notice that you can see two gauges. The first gauge is my connection to the cell tower. The second gauge is the connection to a Wi-Fi hotspot. Both of them are listed in negatives. Believe me, the lower the number goes, the better off you are. There are plenty of settings up here for information that really doesn't make a difference to me. The one that makes a difference to me today is map. Let's zoom in a little. Now again, here's a gauge. It shows me my connection to the tower. If I scroll up a little, you can see right here around this lake where it says 3G. That's where this phone is right now. This red line connecting to the tower that's the tower I'm connected to right now. There are more than one tower out here. If the phone decided to change to a different tower, that line would move. So, plain and simple, if I want to go out and aim the directional antenna, I know exactly what direction to aim it in. For AT&T, of course. Easy to use, simple, free, Next up in the series is the actual aiming of the directional antenna. Now that I've looked at CellReception.com and Network Cell Info Lite, I've plotted out this. It shows me where I found my various antennas, AT&T, AT&T. Uh, all of the carriers are down here, AT&T and Verizon are up here. Now I have an idea of which way to start pointing my antenna. I'll check out all of the different dots on there and tweak it as much as I can to get the best signal. In the end, I, I may even swing the antenna completely around 360 degrees, but you can only move it a small amount at a time and wait for the device to catch up. If you don't, it just won't connect and you won't see the signal. When I'm done lining up all of my hotspots, I'll flip this piece of paper over and it'll have the same circle, the same dot in the middle, but it'll have lines going to the towers that each hotspot or phone connects to. That way the next time I'm here or when I want to change hotspots, all I have to do is look at my little map and say, okay, that tower's off to the east. This tower's off to the south. And know which direction to point my directional antenna. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like it. Subscribe to my channel. Come back for some more. I sure enjoy talking to you all. See you next time.